if you've been considering trying out Star Citizen but wasn't really sure if it was for you, well, here's your chance, because on the 9th of September, they are going to start a two-week free fly event where you can try the game out for free. Today's video is brought to you by Game Glass. Game Glass allows you to take control of your ship from a tablet or phone. All the key bindings are neatly divided into well-designed shards, meaning you always have easy access to the exact features you need, regardless of what you're doing. On top of that, Game Glass also works with Elite Dangerous, so extend your cockpit and get the full immersive experience. Follow the link in the video description and try Game Glass for free. If you like it and want more shards and features, you can either buy them individually or subscribe to Glass Pass. Use offer code DTEA and get 5% off your first purchase. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Star Citizen. Today we're going to talk about the free fly event that's going to start here on the 9th of September and running for two full weeks. This is an event that happens like one, twice every year where a lot of ships becomes available to every player in games. So they can go in and there's a huge exhibition hall where you can go in and you can look at them and you can lend them for a day and try and try them out and there's a whole little event going on where you can based on social media posts and and hype for different ships people are basically voting for what ships they want to be in this event and it's going to be 16 ships selected that's probably not too much of interest for you if you're a brand new player what i think is more interesting is the free fly event that is part of this this means you can play the game without actually paying anything just go in try it out for two weeks and see if it's something for you or not so what you have to do is you can go down and follow the link in the description where you can sign up and create yourself an account. If you use my referral code while you do it, you get some extra start credits in game, just help you a little bit along the way to, uh, to get started in the game. And I just quickly want to take you through the steps just to get you started on the event and give you a very brief introduction to the game. So from the main menu, you select Universe, and if it's your first time you log in, you will have various options here to select what system you want to start in. You want to select Area 18, we believe the event's going to be um, at that location. They haven't actually announced it, so we're just guessing that's probably going to be Area 18. Once you're past the character creation screen, you will wake up in a bed that's probably going to look a lot like this. You press Y to go out of bed, and we can make it out of the room. You interact with the door by holding down F and clicking on the open door. And now you just have to make your way to the elevator. Go up to the elevator, call it, and wait. We are going to go up to the panel, and we're going to go down to the ground floor. And from here, we're going to make it out to this little square. Follow the signs for the Arc Corp Plaza. The plaza is quite easy to recognize by this huge spinning orb at the center. And what we're looking for is the subway system that will take us to the convention center. Here you can see it. City flight transits. That is most definitely what we're looking for. If we're going to head on inside, it's going to split up in two. You can see we have one here. Read the signs that take us to the spaceport. And there's one here that's going to take you to the convention center. Now, the event is obviously not on, so you can see the door here is uh, closed for the moment. So we can't actually go down to the convention center just now. But you want to take the, the subway to the convention center. And from there, you can then go into the uh, convention. You can have a look at the ships. Once you've decided what ships you want to go and give a go, then you have to make it your way back to the subway. And now we're going to head to the spaceport. Don't worry about tickets, all these tram or trains are free of charge, so you can freely just hop on and hop off as much as you like. Once at the spaceport and you leave the station, you will be greeted with a area like this, where there will be tons of these small screens. This is where you spawn your ships from. So here you will see all the ships that you have decided you wanted to try out. I could, for instance, say, let's try out that Hornet I have. So I'm going to retrieve that, we're going to wait for it, and we're going to keep an eye on what hangar it's being delivered to. In my case here, it's in Hangar 2. Make your way back to this little corridor here, and at, at the gates here at the side, you will find elevators, which you're going to call, and head to your designated hangar. Once in the hangar, we will see your ship, and you need to locate the entry point. This varies from ship to ship, so you'll have to walk around and see if you can find the actual entrance. In my case, it's right here on the side. And crawl on into the seat. In the cockpit, click R for ready. That's gonna turn on all your ship systems. And then hold down F and go to any of these multifunction displays. If you haven't done already, you can go here and you can click comms. Here you will see, if we zoom in a bit, you can see the landing service here. Communicate with them, give them a hail, tell them that you're going to 
to launch. Hold out space to go up. And from here, it's just basic mouse controls as well as WASD to control your ship. Do keep in mind that around area 18, there's quite a few no-fly zones. So do look for this corridor that's going to take you safely outside the spaceport area without entering restricted uh, areas. If you do, it's going to blow up your ship. From here, you can, uh, can take the ship into space, fly it around, try it for a bit. When you're done testing out your ship, you just do the same thing in reverse. You go up here to the, uh, to the little display, still on comms. You request docking. Once again, make sure you locate your approach corridor, fly through it, and it will show you right to your hangar with a little symbol. Of other useful keys that you might need is the end key, which is where your landing gear is located, so you can retrieve or lower your landing gear. Once you're done with your ship, I prefer to just click um, I and U to shut off the ship and Y to get out of the seat. Now, if this event goes as it usually does, there's probably going to be quite a few of the larger ships available that you can try during the free fly weeks. So it can be quite enjoyable just walking around them. And I definitely do recommend that you spend some time looking around the interior of the ship. If you want a little challenge with F2, you can open up your system map. And I do recommend if you want to, that uh, you head out to Microtech over here and find yourself the city New Babbage. It's quite a beautiful city. It's right here on the surface. Quite a beautiful city, and I've spent hours just exploring around it. It's very well made, so if you want to have a little bit more to look at, I recommend paying New Babbage a visit. Do remember to use that referral code in the description, where you will also find the link for Discord if you need help. There are plenty of people over there playing Star Citizen that can get you going and help you if you get stuck. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.